We're here on Britannia, close to Bayshore. We're gonna check out some Filipino food. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been going to this place for a while now. I needed to bring Brian here, so yeah. check it out, bro. You guys may remember him from one of my older videos. Bryce channel, Ellis. <laughs> he's propping up my my channel, and uh, <laughs> he's <a> DJ, Derby uh, Derby, <laughs> hair cutter, and a gamer too. Yeah, yo. Check me out, bro. Thing is, it's kind of hidden because it looks like a Filipino mark. Mm -hmm. But downstairs, there is a buffet, buffet type of deal where it's like you just get your own uh, dishes. Um, but this here, what we have is like a combo. So you get a rice dish and you get two, um, two plates or two items. Yeah, so like, how much is two items again? Uh, it's eleven ninety nine. Yeah. So it's, it's stacked. You get like a bunch of rice and you get a good amount of like, you know, the meal and stuff, right? So yeah. So I think it's worth it for your money and the, the food is dope. Now, Jervin's been going here for quite a long time yeah. and he's actually told, he's mysteriously told me about this place. Well, he never actually told me what it was for the longest time. I was like, what, where are you taking me for this week? I, I have no idea where, where you're taking me. I had this place in mind and I had another place in mind. Yeah. And I think uh, this place I wanted to bring him first and maybe next time, you know, whatever, <laughs> you want me to be free, I'll bring him to another place. But I don't want to, I don't want to reveal it yet, you know? But yeah. this place is, I think is a good start. As if you're driving there, yeah. watch for that pothole because <laughs> that is a really deep pothole. We yeah. were there like oh, three inches deep. Is yeah. So the funny story I didn't tell you during winter time that pothole caused so many people being stuck. <laughs> so people had to, like people that was walking by around that area would have to help push. Wow. And like when I would go there, I would park my car because I live near Middle Mart, so I'll park my car in my place and after I would walk to Middle yeah. Mart, so I don't get stuck in that area. Wow. And the owners of the place, the cook, actually knows uh, that some people are going to be doing it for takeout. They actually wrap these things up mm -hmm. because there's a lot of the the stuff is soups. So he wraps them up so even if you spill them or whatever in the bag, it's yeah. not going to spill. It's going to be in that saran wrap. Exactly. Um, sometimes um, there are some people that are cooks that, that are working there during that time. They don't wrap it up. So if they don't wrap it up, just let, let them know and they'll do it for you. Yeah. Caldereta is like a beef stew. It also has carrots, potatoes. It's very good. This one, I like this the most. Well, I'm really surprised for the price that you're paying for this. You're getting this much stuff for this. Yeah. And like... It's really good. A lot of, uh, even my mom, like my mom is very like, she doesn't really like going to Filipino yeah. restaurants based on like the, the, like the quality of it. Because yeah. <laughs> she knows that she can make better, right? Right. So obviously she went to this place and she told me like, yo, she loved it. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is uh, it's like a stew like flavor, but it's, it's different. It is, right? Yeah, it's different. You can just have this without the meat, man. It's that good. Exactly. You can just have, you can like, have just even carrots or something like that with that stew around the rice and yeah. it was bomb. It's so good. And the, the meat is very tender. You can see that it just mm -hmm. swipes off of the bone right there. I'm pretty sure they like prepare it beforehand, mm -hmm. right? This is actually really good. A medium of these dishes is yeah. $8.99. $8.99? So you got like kind of like a similar like weight or a similar container as this. Right. For $8.99. And like that will fill you up. You know what I mean? Wow. Or like you can, you can have that like half for like lunch. Mm -hmm. Save it for like lunch for the next day or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of places like this. There's another one in Carling as well. Yep. It's not as good as this. And we also have some mango juice. Mango juice. You gotta keep it Filipino, so you gotta have the mango juice, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> different, though. This is sweeter. Mm -hmm. This is really sweet. This one's a little bit here. That's coconut as well. Okay. Uh, this one's so, like, really ripe mango tasting. <laughs> really ripe. <laughs> you can tell it's, like, mango and it's, it's really ripe. Right. Because it's, like, the sweetest of the mangoes. But it's good though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. But it's not the usual, like, you know how we have like a little tangy taste for mango drinks yeah. and stuff oh, yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the just extra.
extra sweetened. Mm-hmm. Not no uh like what it's not, I'm... It's not concentrated, right? Yeah. This is Sinigang. Soup base, tamarind base, and it has um oh, bok choy, carrots, um also what else? Um yam, uh, baby pork ribs. But some people like you know, some people will make it a vegetarian, but not a lot. Um there's a lot of fish also. Sometimes people use uh some, sometimes they cook it with a uh, fish or they cook it with a uh, what else? Um, chicken. Yeah. But this time it's pork ribs and my mom does it with pork ribs as well. Pork ribs, yeah. Eh? I'm not usually a fan of uh, yams. But I'll no, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of yam, but yeah, it's good. Oh, this one. Do you yeah, do yeah, you normally good. drink the sauce? Yeah, yeah. You drink it. It's like it's soup, right? Yeah. Okay. Like me and my brother were like, we were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Hmm. It's different from the other dishes, so this is gonna be definitely different from like. Yeah, that no yam or whatever, but it's just like something very familiar that I've had. Had um, I'm pretty soups with in, in uh, Chinese soups with. So I was telling Brian, I, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, it's I I think it's yam, but some sort of melon or whatever that I I recognize. I totally recognize the the taste of it. It's just I don't know the name of it. I yeah. know you're, what you're talking about. It's weird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This translucent, like uh, yamish kind of melon thing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it's actually pretty good because normally when I have it, it's kind of not as salty. Yeah. And this one has enough salt to make it like I because as a soup. A soup yeah. I don't normally it. like this this, uh, <laughs> this vegetable, mm -hmm. but like this one's actually pretty good. Again, the meat is very tender because it's probably been in there for quite a while. Yep, afita that was chicken, carrots, and uh, green peppers. Yep. Mmm. This has more potato flavor to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a potato stew that they've been cooking for quite a while. This is really good. No, oh, today was. Very different from one another. I, I'm, I'm actually very surprised because they look very, ident they look identical. Yeah. So the funny thing is that like when we were there, you can tell that the food is kind of like, they look very similar, but obviously the taste is different, mm -hmm. right? So when we opened it up, we're like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Brian was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, did we order the same stuff, all, <laughs> both of us? <laughs> but apparently not. It's all different. And this is liver. It yep. has liver and it has uh, red peppers and it has like some soup base. Okay. So it's salty. It's good. I remember my mom would cook this. My mom was like, oh, it's like, this your liver would be good. Now liver, I'm kind of weary about because <laughs> I generally don't like liver, but we'll, we'll try it out. Yeah. So actually this also has beef and this also has liver mixed with it. Yep. So he just said liver, but I see also beef. So. <laughs> The mixture. This also, I think, has maybe peas. But yeah, give it a shot. Okay, now, you think. if this is good, that means they're really good at making food <laughs> because the food is gonna. <laughs> they made me like liver. <laughs> There's only one place that's done that, and that's I was in Paris, France, and they had uh, mm -hmm. I, my my friend Kareem had brought me over to this restaurant, mm -hmm. and they, they gave me this uh, raspberry liver thing. And it was the best thing <laughs> I've done in a long time. I know, I didn't think it was going to be any good. And then uh, I had it and I, I couldn't believe that I, I was enjoying liver. Well, yeah, this one, this one's good. The yeah. liver is not subtle. It's not too harsh to lick. I have it here. Uh -huh. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> I said it was subtle, and this guy was like, it's strong. It's strong. Liver is always strong, though. It's good. It's not bad. They made the liver cut small enough mm -hmm. that it's not like potent, potent thing. There's also that beef in there, so it's like kind of, yeah. 
two eyes is done flavor. This wouldn't be my, be my go-to. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. This wouldn't be my go-to though. I'm putting them to also have barbecue. Yeah. Um, barbecue pork or something like that, mm -hmm. or like a skewer. And that one is like the best one. They would, they would have that. So I guess they didn't have it. So I was expecting them to have that so you could taste it. Mm -hmm. Now you, you mentioned that they have different things every day. Yeah. So not. So usually they would have the calzadetta, they would have the easy ones. I think these are pretty easy to make if they have the, um, the meat prepared. Mm -hmm. So they would just cook it really fast, right? Mm -hmm. But there's also other ones that like that they have the Filipino curry, have the barbecue that I was telling you about, but those things are like really rare. Like they don't usually have it. Mm -hmm. I think maybe on Saturdays or something like that. I'm not sure, but I remember uh, I would go down, they would have like curry, like Filipino curry. Wow. So, like sometimes I'll give them a call, but this time I think uh, the, the receptionist didn't know what, uh, what they had, so obviously we had to go check them out themselves. So, yeah, man, this is this is it. So but they, they don't have a website so that you can go over there and check no, out. No, they don't. I don't think so. I don't, very hidden, right? So no, I, I would I have, I have to check that, but so you literally have to go there to find out what's mm -hmm. going on. Okay. But like before, it would be easier because my mom would do that. She would call and she would uh, ask them what you guys have. But I think this the reception is better not um, Okay. So overall, I think definitely worth the money. Oh my god, I couldn't, couldn't believe how cheap it is for for all you can. Eleven ninety nine, man. Eleven ninety nine for Filipino food. Like, there's not a lot of Filipino foods in, in Ottawa that are like <laughs> already made. Like, you know, based on if you want, like, if you just want to try Filipino food, obviously. Yeah this out um, and it's good it's close to like home cooked meal type, type yeah food, right and that includes two two of these yes and two you get these. to pick which one you want to do and your rice yeah and uh, the drink was separate but yeah but this is actually quite filling mm -hmm. you can you're immediate you would been like uh filling up right yeah oh yeah 100 percent even even this having two of these I don't think you would even dust this off like with one meal. Like you would have one for like maybe next meal or the next day yeah. or something like that. So it's really good, really worth uh, worth your money. Yeah. So overall, I would say yeah, you should, uh, check this place out. It's a hidden treasure that uh, not many too too many people know yeah. until now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you should check it out. <laughs> What's crazy is that like when you go there, it's like a lot of Filipinos, obviously. But I don't. When I go there, it's just it's. There's not a lot of non-Filipinos, right? So having Brian to like kind of give it a shout out, I think, you know, it gives it an exposure. So check it out. That's it for, for this this video. Uh, until next time, see you guys. Peace. See ya.